I'm going to demonstrate how to make a uh, extension cable for the scan gauge 2. Now what it really is is a computer extension cable, like a network cable, not a whole lot to it. And as it turns out, that covers junk out. Nice, these colors aren't what I was expecting. Figures. Okay. Well, good luck sorting this one out. These colors aren't standardized on these wires. Anyway, the way it should work is this is white-orange, this is orange. Then we got white-green, we got Two colors that are totally non-standard, they were supposed to be blue and then brown. Now because we're doing a straight through, all you have to do is identify which ones are which and then make sure that you do the, the same uh, sequence of wires on the other end. So white, orange, orange, white, green, white. Unknown white, I guess blue white, or white blue, and then that was supposed to be blue, but it don't look like no blue to me. And then white, brown, and brown. So once you get them all lined up, you pinch them in your thumb like this, and you kind of draw them together. And what you're trying to do is get them all lined up so that they're easy to clip and insert into a connector, about like that. Take some regular old snips, cut them off so you got about five eighths of an inch, about that much. Then you hold the thing so that the the connector so that the pins all face up, and you. This happens every once in a while. A couple of pin, a couple of wires will end up getting twisted. Okay. Once you get them flat, then you shove them in. And what I do is I uh, I apply a little pressure so that the wires are all pushing up this way a little bit. And then once I get them shoved in, you can visually check to make sure that nothing's turned around. <clears throat> then you take one of these little guys right here, this is called a crimper, and you put it in, give it a squeeze, one network cable. Just make sure all the pins are down, everything's good. Now I'm going to do the other side and we'll be testing it on the scan gauge too. Now this little guy is an RJ45 and an RJ11 uh, continuity tester. It's just a little cheapy device to make sure that you got good connections on your wire. So you just plug it in here, turn it on and then you're just watching to make sure that the wires are rolling in the right sequence and that you get lights every time it uh, you get one over here. This one's working so I'm ready to test it on the scan gauge. 
All right, well, I got my scan gauge too here, and there's the cable with the connector that goes into the scan gauge too, and lo and behold, it looks just exactly like an RJ45 connector. Now, I bought an RJ45 coupler. It's just a little female to female connector. So I'm going to plug one end of the extension cable in and then to the cable there and we're going to see if this works. There you go. I got lights. Now I realize some of the tools that I use to make this cable are uh, specialty tools and you wouldn't want to spend that kind of money on it. So really all you need to do is go down to Radio Shack and buy a computer ex uh, network cable and make sure that uh, when you do that just look at the, uh, the wires inside the uh, connector and make sure that the, the wires all are in the same sequence. There's two types of network connections. One is called a rollover and the other one is called a straight through. Now they have actual uh, number designations but that's the common terminology. Well there you can see it. I'm running a thousand and a little over a thousand RPM and using three quarters of a gallon per hour just idling and it should be pretty obvious it's not in the truck. There's the truck. So the cable works.